Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good evening everybody. Welcome to uh, another edition of uh, the Access of Trader.com uh, nightly wrap-up show. Hope everybody is doing well. Uh, hope everybody had a good trading day today. Great value. Uh, again, we spoke about a lot of the really good setups uh, last night on uh, the video. If you are brand new to the channel, we'll get to them in a second. Uh, all we have to do is ask you just really just take a second out, right? If you're watching this video, all we ask is take a second out of your day, uh, click a like, share, subscribe, uh, show support for the channel. Again, we'll try to continue uh, to give you a uh, really good value uh, on a day-to-day uh, -day basis for all you guys and get a lot of emails and so forth and so on. Uh, if you are looking to uh, find a new path in the world of pivots, uh, there's a link below in the comments. Uh, click below. It's, it's a 30-day uh, kick the tires situation. You know, again, is is are pivots right for everybody? I've, I've been saying this for years. I don't think they are. Uh, but if you are open minded to something uh, outside of the normal, uh, it's a really cool way to kind of see inside the PS60 theory uh, for 30 days and see uh, if it's right for you. So let's talk about it, right? Let's talk about it. So I, I again every single day. I, the most important part of uh, at least trading for me is being prepared. Um, not everything is going to confirm. Okay, if you have five, six ideas and you get three names to confirm uh, the channels that you are watching and they work, that's like that's a good day. That's a really really good day. Uh, if you get one, but that one is uh, significant and you're holding a premium hand at a potential big measure potential. Hey, who's better than you? Again, you only need one. It's the acronym YONO, right? You only need one, especially when you trade uh, high beta names. You don't need 30 of these trades. You only just need one or two of these things to give you two, three, four dollars. Uh, but when you get your research right, and that's the most important part, I try to um, reiterate on every single video. Okay, you don't need to be right. You don't need to be perfect. You just need your channels to confirm. And when they do confirm, uh, usually good things are going uh, to follow. So last night uh, we talked about the scenario of a uh, potential potential revisit. Okay, that's the best way I can say it. Potential revisit of an engulfing candle that Nvidia had uh, on Thursday. Right? We talked about it. We highlighted, and um, you know, it's it's so funny. And if, I know a lot of you guys are new to the channel, but I, I just want to kind of reiterate this point. I don't know where NVIDIA is going to be three months from now after earnings, after Groundhog's Day, uh, next Halloween. I have no idea. I have no idea. Nobody does. I have no idea. My research is based on the next day. Okay. My research is based on the channel that I believe it's going to uh, test, um, confirm, and have a measured potential. So I appreciate the you know, I appreciate the comments. Well, Dan, here's where I think the stock is going to be by 2028. I think they're AI technology. That's fantastic. I, I, and I really applaud your efforts. I'm all about tomorrow, right? I'm all about tomorrow. It's all about the channel that's going to confirm. They're going to give us the highest probability for a measured potential move. So I, I do appreciate your thoughts. I appreciate where you think NVIDIA is going to be in a year from now and where Tesla is going to be after earnings and where Amazon's going to be uh, after Labor Day, but it's all about tomorrow. And based on technical analysis, our job is to find the easiest path to the goal line. Uh, not the sexiest, not the most fun, not the most exciting, but the easiest path to the goal line. And the question is, every single day, are those names going to confirm? We'll get to those in a second. From the technical point of view, the Bulls did a pretty decent job today of kind of holding surf, right? If you look at the rising 50 day support, they held, right? They held three times now. They held right here, they held right here, and they held today. So tomorrow is the big CPI number. And I say that in tongue in cheek. Um, look, inflation reports, I feel like they come out six times a day. Fed governors speak 30 times a day. And I, I trust me when I tell you this, nothing materialistically has happened a day from uh, a date from today uh, a week ago, 
a month ago or it's going to happen tomorrow. Okay. Inflation is here. Uh, this is not a one day, one report um, uh, effect. It's not going to be a scenario that tomorrow is going to be the end of be all. You might get a positive reaction to the CPI. You might get a negative reaction to the CPI. It's all about compounding data, right? Uh, one day is not a trend. So one report is definitely not a trend. So the idea that tomorrow's CPI followed by Thursday's PPI is going to do something to the stock market that we haven't seen uh, in the last uh, two decades is, is asinine, okay? Stocks are going to trade regardless of what the data is because a lot of people believe the data is one big Right, it's one big smorgasbord. It is. It's one big garbage that people are sifting through, trying to find new pieces of information to sound smarter than they are. It's just the reality. Okay, we've been listening to the same song and dance now since 2020, since 2021, since 2022. We get it. We're trying to tame inflation. Okay, believe me. Tomorrow it's not going to change your world one way or another. So the idea that you're going on social media and spreading FOMO. Uh, for likes and clicks and shares about, are you ready for the CPI? Okay, tell me what are you exactly doing for the CPI? The CPI comes out, you're either in positions or you're not. The market's either going to go up 300 points or it's going to go down 300 points. There's nothing that you're going to do that follows somebody else into a CPI report that nobody has any, number one, any idea what, what's going to happen. And number two, any, any idea how the market's going to respond. You could have an initial move up, get faded. You can have an initial move down, get bought. We don't know. So the idea that tomorrow is such, such an epic day and you're putting it on a pedestal is absolutely r r ridiculous. All you're doing is following other newer traders that have not have any exposure to the stock market for less, for more than a couple of years to put themselves in a situation they're uncomfortable. So the, the idea that uh, anybody is sitting on social media, and again, unfortunately, the only aspect of trading the uh, majority of guys have is literally exposed to social media. That's exactly what's happening. So tomorrow morning, guys, whether you're in positions or not, take a deep breath, okay? Tomorrow's data is not going to be earth shattering one way or another, pun intended with the recent earthquake we had. Uh, but what it's gonna do is either going to confirm tonight's research, right? Tonight's research, what's gonna happen tomorrow, or it's not. So let's talk about, instead of talking about fantasy world, what we think is going to happen, let's talk about the numbers. The numbers are still valid, okay? You can see here, now we had back-to-back -back days, the last two out of three days on the queues that have gotten rejected off of 43. Everybody see that? 443 was the high on the 5th, 443 and change was the high for today. That's the line in the set. That's the line that the market, the bulls need to reclaim and start building over. That's all you need to know to the upside, regardless what the data shows us. To the downside, now we've held the 50-day moving average several times. So now we need to hold 435, right? 435 is the line in the sand, the ultimate line in the sand. So we have 443 upside, 435 downside. Again, if you guys remember the last two videos, nothing has changed. We're still in that spin cycle. We're still in those parameters. So the idea that the market's going to do something before those lines of expression is going to be taken is asinine. It doesn't make any sense. Watch tomorrow, 443 upside, 435 downside. That's all you need. And in between that, you're starting to get individual channels that you're watching every single day. So let's talk about today's pivots, right? We talked about these names uh, last night on the video. And obviously, I was talking about it tongue in cheek about in the video. And I said, you know, you know, amuse me. Let's just pretend it won't go up. Well, guess what? It didn't go up today. And it gave a really, really great trade. And, and the point was, we were ready for it. And that's all you can ask of yourself. You can't just wake up at 9.30 uh, and see with the hot stock of the day. You need to know your levels every single day. You need to know where stocks are going to hold. You need to see where stocks potentially going to get rejected. And you need to know where stocks potentially going to break down. So if you are, quote unquote, buying the dip, you're not buying the dip when a guy like me is looking to sell that uh, channel. So it's very, very important uh, to understand macro levels. And today turned out to be really really good. So let's talk about the pivots. Last night, uh, we talked about Apple 168.23 held twice. If it builds below, can flush. Obviously, it didn't, it didn't confirm the high. Uh, the low of the day today was like 68.40s. This was definitely the big one, right? And this is the one we highlighted last night in the video. We highlighted like three names. We'll get to all of them. Uh, in the video last night, um, I, I said, man, if they can just confirm that last Thursday's reversal channel, there's a high probability we get a nice wash. Beautiful trade, beautiful, beautiful trade. Eight eight fifty nine held twice. 
if it builds below can flush here is nvidia right here is nvidia so it got below last thursday's channel of 859 which it held twice held twice back-to-back -back days and once it got below once it got below this 859 channel just i mean the stock got destroyed it was a 30 point move and a nice you know nice little rebound uh nice little rebound uh good is it out of the woods yet we'll see what the cpi number has to say but the one thing that I will say, if this thing goes sideways and doesn't reclaim back the 10-day moving average in the next several days, basically the same uh, sentiment I was talking about last night, and it starts confirming today's channel in the next couple of days, then you have another measured move coming all the way down uh, to this 50-day moving average, roughly the 800 area. So it's going to be very, very interesting to see uh, if the market responds positively uh, to the CPI data or uh, does it start to crater in. Again, we'll see. But today... Uh, again, I don't know what's going to happen next Monday, next uh, Groundhog's Day, but today it was absolutely awesome. Congratulations, everybody uh, who caught the move. Uh, PHAT, remember we talked about this last line of the video? PHAT, uh, 1145 uh, needs to build. Nice move. Nice move. Really, really nice move here for a $12 stock. Uh, it finally broke out above the 1145 area, traded right to daily supply of 1227 this thing starts getting above 1230 1240 tomorrow you can start another leg up nice move really really nice move congratulations for you guys who caught that uh, microsoft we're watching i'm still watching this thing didn't confirm today uh but i'm still watching this thing for the next couple of days uh we talked about tesla last night remember yesterday had a really good move got rejected off the 20-day moving average so it needed to reclaim the 20-day it needed to get above last week's highs for another spike nice move tesla had a really really nice move here so it confirmed the 75 7450 confirmed last week's highs of 7720 went all the way up to 7920s and now this is the highest close in this whole formation above the 20-day moving average where tesla really needs to get going in the future is to reclaim the 50-day okay because again remember the birth of the trade is the 10-day the birth of the trend is the 50-day. Once Tesla gets, and again, this is a big if, but if Tesla can get above the 50-day moving average in the next couple of days, then we got daylight, guys. We got a lot of daylight going all the way up to the 200 channel. Again, we don't want to put the cart in front of the horse just yet, but just note that if we can get above the 50-day moving average in the next few days, and again, it doesn't have to be tomorrow, then, then we have a moonshot uh, potential to fill in this gap into the 200 area but again we're still uh, a couple of days away from that but again big move move today on tesla coinbase never got up to 261 uh 31 uh google this morning uh you know we talked about google briefly in last night's video uh google 157 needs to confirm the pre-market highs uh apparently again everybody is arming up for the ai revolution uh yet uh prs today from Google, it took out 157. The first move wasn't big. It was like 50, 60 cents. And then all of a sudden, woke up later in the day, traded up to 160. Uh, but again, people are realizing, companies are realizing, you start getting into this AI revolution, you better bring your ammo. You had Google come out with a PR today. You had Intel come out with a PR today. Send those stocks uh, to a higher uh, level. So that's that there. Uh, Q's again, Q's need to reclaim guys. That's the number. That's the name of the game. Q's need to reclaim this area. So far, they got rejected back to back days on both sides. So going into tomorrow, again, you have the CPI. It's definitely going to have uh, a market moving uh, tendencies, whether the market likes the news, whether the market dislikes the news. The key is like we talk about every single day, be ready on both sides. Guys, God bless everybody. Hope everybody did well today. And with God's help, I'll see you all tomorrow. Take care, guys. Have a great night.